Alright guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, I am going to be fixing my Ford Bronco, Traxxas Ford Bronco TRX4. Uh, it's been a bit since I made a video, and it's also been a good long while since you've seen the uh, Ford Bronco. I still haven't fixed it, so right now I'm just cleaning it off and preparing for it to be fixed. And then, of course, I've got to dry everything, because you know how that goes. If you don't dry your cars off, it starts to deteriorate, which is no good. Yeah. So, I'll just wait for everything to dry, wash it all off nice and good. And, yeah. See you in a bit. guys here's a close-up of what the steering looks like on the car just me forcing it you can see it kind of cogging instead of going smoothly so yeah that's part of the problem there and then here we have the wire that i've taken out uh the second channel one and the receiver and on hooked it from that place and now I just have to uh, take the screws out and I will make a time lapse of it because it took me a long time to do it one handed <laughs> couldn't see too well There's the screw. All right, now it should be able to come out, maybe? No? Oh yeah, right, I have to remove the, the steering arm or link, whatever it's called. I have to remove it from the steering servo and then it'll work. All right guys, got a progress update. Managed to get the steering servo out. There it is. And let's see. 
Kabel. Whoops. Let's see if I can turn it. you hear that it's like moving small amounts at a time instead of just going smoothly and it's also really hard to move it so yeah I guess that's what was wrong with it and I am now ready to put the near the new steering servo in attach it in here thread the wire through up and around through that and yep yeah, i'll be doing that shortly all right guys here i am with the eco power servo it's waterproof 110 turn at least i think that's what it stands for unboxing it what do we have uh i don't know if this is Apologies for the flare. Yeah, I've no idea what those are for. And how do we get this out? Oh, there we go. Alright, here it is. Yep. Not too bad. Looks pretty nice. And now I just have to put it in. Alright, after a further examination of that plastic part, I have found that it is the plastic part that is stripped and not the servo. So the servo is actually fine. It just needed a new uh, steering thing, whatever those are called. If you know, comment down uh, below. So it's kind of nice though. Now I have an extra servo, which isn't too bad. I'm probably going to put it onto my FJ Cruiser, but we'll see. Yeah, that one just cogs. And actually once I took the plastic piece off on the servo metal gear itself, I could see the little grinded up plastic pieces. So, Yep, that was the problem, actually, not the servo. Alright, I was also having problems with the steering servo, and that I thought the steering was all messed up, because you see how it is right now. But I was totally inaccurate. You just take it off, reposition it into its centered position, and then it's fine. I can't believe I couldn't think of that, but... Oh well. Another moment of me being very, very special. And now it works fine. Uh, oh well. Alright guys, progress update. I have taken this here, and I drilled a hole in it, as you can see. Oh, focus, yep, there we go. Well, I drilled a hole in it so that this screw right here can fit through it. Um, so now I am ready to put it back in, and we will see if it works. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you really liked it, please hit the share button and hit the notification bell. Thanks, see you in the next video.